Hello fellow crafters and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be using the Dragonfly stamp set by Pink Ink Designs. I am so excited about this stamp set. I absolutely fell in love with it before I even got it in the mail. So you can see here even the cover is just done up beautifully and these stamps are just as beautiful as they make them out to be. So you can see that the dragonfly is quite large. Now the wings are separate from the body uh, which allows you to kind of place those wings or stamp those wings separately and give them a 3D effect to your card. But for this card here, I've mounted the wings on my platform and put them together. So I'm going to be using my archival black ink to stamp my wings as well as the body because I'm going to be using my zig brush markers to color in the wings as well as the body. Now the detail I get with the archival ink is really nice and I wish I could use this ink with my Copics. Unfortunately the ink bleeds quite a bit because it is an alcohol based ink. I will also note I am using the Bristol 300 series smooth paper. Um, this is the paper I use uh, for my zig markers it just works beautifully with those markers so I'm lining up the body of my dragonfly here and again I'll be using the archival ink to stamp the impression you can also see here I've got my wings masked off because of course I don't want to stamp over my wings now I'm really excited about this stamp set and I have to note too that Pink Ink Designs has some really beautiful stamp sets out there. Uh, there's a couple of more I want to get. I'd never heard of this company or seen these stamps until this Dragonfly stamp set came up on my search feed but they have some really beautiful stunning stamps out there. So. Definitely in the future, I think I'm going to grab a few more. I know there's a, a bunny rabbit I, I would like. I think there's an elephant I would like. A giraffe. And there's, there's just beautiful. The detail and the thought that they put into these stamp sets is just amazing. So moving on here, I've also masked off the body now at this point. And I'm using this background stamp. This stamp set is by Prima Marketing. And the name of it is just Mixed Media Background Stamp. I don't know the company, I really haven't looked into it, but I really like the image I get with this background stamp. Now you'll see it doesn't quite fit my entire panel, so I have to improvise here a little bit and just move it over and then stamp the remaining empty space on my panel. And it gives me a really nice image and a good for a background image. I don't want it too busy. I'm going to remove my masks here and I'll zoom in and get the body and the wings colored in. And while I'm doing that, I will throw on some music and I will catch you all on the other side.
So I'm just finishing up the card here, just adding a little bit of sequence to this panel, um, just to give it a little bit more character. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you the shimmer on the wings, but I had a really hard time catching that on camera. So what I'm going to do is I will bring up the card here and I'm going to slow the video right down so you can see it. Um, wait for it it's coming there it is that's what i'm looking for <laughs> so you can see it there it was really hard to catch on camera and another thing that you can see with the naked eye that i can't seem to get on camera is that the wings actually have a touch of blue and a touch of green uh, that move along the lines of that image again you can't see it on the card but this is a beautiful stamp set. I'm really happy with it. I'm so excited to try uh, different designs with this stamp set, especially vellum for those wings, because these are going to be easy to fussy cut. So thanks for joining me today. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.